So I'm off to Cape Town and I just made it by the skin of my teeth. I actually the last guy to check in, the last guy to take a bag, I had to be very kind. Landed in Cape Town, now we are going to transfer down to Arabella. Well, check into the room and then to do some briefing meetings for this event. So I've arrived at Arabella and it is my first time at this resort and it is beautiful. It really is. Look at the room. Just a little panel. Big bathrooms, beautiful. But the most important part is that there is an amazing view. Look at that view. That is a golf course and the ocean. That, I mean, you cannot beat that. This is quite a big event. It's for a... Uh, major company everyone knows but I'm not gonna mention the name um, I had to go for an interview now I never go for interviews normally um, I either get requested or my agent who is fantastic pushes me forward for for these events and that is most of the time how this things these things happen but in this one we had to go for interviews so they had a couple of MCs for the event in mind and then they asked us to all come in and see them and sort of interview for the job which I haven't done in ages and comics don't really like doing that kind of thing because you know we're anti-establishment a little bit but uh, I understood why and also with my corporate background I sort of went okay well I get that and I'll go in and I'll have a talk and lo and behold um, I got the gig. This is actually where um, my business background does come in handy because I completely understand what these sales conferences are about. I used to go to them very regularly when I was in my day job in marketing. Even though I don't work in corporate anymore, I still actually work in corporate because uh, it gives me a great understanding and a, like a, a feel for what needs to be done and how to set the tone for these days. So. I've got this weird thing where I have to buy a fresh shirt when I come to these things. Not every time, but like when it's a bigger one, I like wearing a fresh shirt. It makes me feel good, you know, I, I do that. I don't know, it's a weird thing. What you want them to do is, you don't have to be dressed in Versace. You just need to be neat and tight and tidy and tied up and so that it's not a distraction to the words that are coming out of your mouth. I always carry a mints because mints are important. You don't have a sear pick when you're talking to a client. Smell like coffee from two days back. Ugh. So I like to just lay everything out, especially like bathroom things. I like to lay everything out. I like to put the suit out. I like to put ties and everything out so that the next day it creates, creates less tension and, uh, and angst. If I was here for a vacation, you can ask my wife. She absolutely hates me on a vacation because I just throw everything around. I don't unpack a thing. I'm on holiday, but this is not a vacation. And that is the most important thing to remember when you're a professional MC, because you get to go to all these wonderful spaces and it's nice out there. There's a golf course right there. But that doesn't mean I need to be out there on the golf course trying my best. No, 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 no. I'm here to do the job. Once the job is done, then whatever extra little things, if I have the time, yeah, sure, you know, I can do. I normally just end up watching DSTV. And so after this meeting, then I'm going to try and find the gym because I'm trying really hard to look after myself a little better. So I promised myself that I'm going to try a little bit to be in the gym today. And then I'm going to come back here and probably go to supper. And then after supper, I'm going to come and edit video. Go time. The first day is always so nerve wracking because you don't know what the audience is really going to be like. And if you mess it up on day one, it's long. It's not like you get to leave. It's a two day thing. 
थैंक यू ब्रेकफास्ट Basically coffee, because the oats is a bit too creamy. Oh, I guess we had creamy consistency. So it's the evening of the first day. So I did the MC work all day long, and uh, now we're out at a restaurant, and I'm going to do like 20 to 30 minutes stand up. Uh, so let's see how that goes. Um, So that brings us to the last day and last night was good yesterday was good and um I've got a half a day today and then um off to the airport so it's facilitating a workshop on the last day bus on my way back home It's four o'clock. My flight leaves at six. I get in Joburg at eight. I get on the train. I get to my car. I'll probably get home at like nine-ish. And then there's load shedding. <laughs> Um, at the Kakao train station. It is Friday night at nine o'clock. There's load shedding in my house, uh, but I'm happy to go home. Oh.